and back. So now we're gonna do our Qigong breathing. So left knee up, and then you're jumping off this right leg and doing a jumping outside crescent kick at the same time, all right? Eventually you, you'll be able to get that momentum, hit, and then back to on guard. And that's the turn. That's a cat. Oh, and yours is looking pretty good. So I've been trying to train Momo with his cat toy, um, trying to extend his ability to jump. Sometimes you're really surprised at me. He does this weird double backflip and catches it and lands. Like, whoa, how'd that happen? But now the downside is he's developing his range, his jumping range. So he'll see my face and he'll think, I can get there. And he'll do one big leap and both hands try to grab or paws trying to grab my face. King choy, king choy. Now I'm going back this door shutting kick. Second palm, opposite beat and back palm. Left hand is underneath the right elbow as I clear and then I'm gonna step into a horse stance and hammer fist strike. And for this one, I do wanna travel quite a bit, so I don't wanna shift my weight too far back here. I wanna try to keep my energy going forward. So I'm just picking that leg up almost as if I'm doing a steel spring step. So clear and hammer. But in combination with sticking into the horse stance, that becomes high sun And yep. E. And I wanna block one, two. So right hand is all the way up, fingers together, thumb is tucked in, left hand is protecting your right side. The right hand I want it around ear height, so I don't want it too low, not too high, just around where my ear height is. All right, so turn and strike. Try that a few times, see how you can uh, connect everything. And yep. E. Dow. Sup. So again, pluck and elbow. So there's a double ceiling hand, we're grabbing and breaking the knee and then stepping back and right elbow. And this is the toppling part. Um, some styles you're gonna see the pluck and then you're gonna see them turn and they strike, end up striking forward. So that's common in the Wong Hong Fun lineage as well. All right. For us though, we just pluck and we step straight back with that right elbow. That's a cat. That's a John. Yep. The pluck is gonna be more like a one reaching out and then the other hand grabs, so it's one, two. When we first learn, it's kind of more like a one grab at the same time, so our hands are open, then they close, and then they pluck, but as you get better, it's more like a, a clear one, two, and three. One, two, three. And then it smooths out. Pop, pop, pop. So I'm hitting on the way up, and then stopping on the second one, so one, two. And notice that step slide as well, so one, two from the side view one two here okay and then we'll do that move then we're going to stomp the right foot and then navel propping punch and then pluck right elbow so three techniques i'll show from the front again circle strike and then stomp the right foot navel propping so now this time your knuckles are facing down but the palm side is facing up and then we're going to pluck and right elbow and yep e something nice again right forward a little faster yep e something nice where's my ribbon this is like her favorite form and she's already missed like the first three classes of us going through the basics or going through all the individual techniques she has a new love now do I, I think want double stabbing flower Oh, yeah, that's true. Hey, Sifu, did you hear about Myra? What? What, what happened with Myra? Well, she's hanging out with her new love now. What? That's yeah, called double stabbing flower. Oh, come on, cat. <laughs> and first move, looking to her right. And white goose, 
Swatch those wings, and then right knee up, and propping, kick, yep, then reverse punch, and then grab, cross kick, step back, straight punch. Then clear and hammer, hop, thrusting kick, hammer, then circle, stomp the right foot, double caving, pluck, and right elbow. That's it. Good. Last one. One more. Set. And knee palm, prop and kick, reverse punch, grab cross kick, step back, white down block punch, clear, hammer, hop, thrust and kick, hammer, circle, stomp, pluck, elbow. Nice. Okay, good job you guys. Whew. Yeah, end of this month is my sixth year. I mean, I've, Six I've been- Six years. Wait, really? No way. Yeah. That's when I wow. started, I thought, okay, I'm gonna go for six months, see how it goes. And then I thought, oh, okay, I, I can't stretch this for a year. That's I'm great. Here. Kung Fu is always around. That's it's the beauty. addicting. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. And you can do Kung Fu at any age. That's, that's what I love about it. You can start really young, you, you can start really old. It doesn't matter because it's, it's all self-cultivation anyways. It's, it's not for anyone else, it's for you. So it's whatever you make of it. That's it, Luke. And Bob's cool. First camera back. And classmates. Great job, you guys. Thank you. Happy birthday, Sean. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you, thank Bye. you.